Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be doing is installing Ubuntu server. And we're going to be doing this with uh, VirtualBox. So first, you can go right to Ubuntu website and hit download and then download the ISO file right from their website. Once you have it downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to install it in VirtualBox. So let's get started. So I have it right here, but I want to go ahead and remove that and we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so the first things first, ignore all the other VMs for now. I have a whole bunch of them. And so now what we're going to do is hit new. We're going to put Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu 20.04. And it's going to be Linux and it's going to be Ubuntu, Ubuntu, wherever you are in the world, however you pronounce it, it's going to be 64 bit. So I want to go ahead and assign. I'll do four gigs, so that's 4096. Okay, hit next. Create a new hard disk, that's fine. VHD, dynamic, and I'll assign 50 gigs. Okay, cool. So there's a few changes that I'm gonna have to make before we actually boot this up and start the install. So I wanna go ahead and right click on here and hit settings. First things first, I wanna go ahead and Click on the empty CD-ROM drive and I want to go ahead and mount the Ubuntu ISO. And next is under network, by default is going to NAT. I want to go ahead and go to NAT network and InfoSec PAT. So we can pull an IP address off the 192.168.99 network. That is that network. And if you want to see how I know that, if we go to tools and we go to preferences, go to network, InfoSec PAT, we can see that's the, the CIDR note sheet right here, the network CIDR, 192.168.99.0 slash 24. Okay, so that's how I know. So now we can go ahead and double click on here and we can go ahead and stop the install. We'll give this a few seconds. And while that's booting, what I wanna do is I wanna start a another vm that's on that network as well so we can test a few things so this is on the infosec pat network so we can go ahead and boot this one up okay windows 10 we'll give this a second make sure this one's working so we have a windows 10 and the ubuntu server let's go ahead and so while that's booting up, whoop, while that's booting up, we can go ahead and continue the installation here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit English. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue without updating just for the sake of time. And English US, English US is perfectly fine. Hit done. And you see now my IP address is 192.168.99.20. I wanna take a jot down of that so I don't forget. Give me one second. Even though I can do an if config or an IP address once it's in, um, once it's logged in, but just for saving saving time, so we'll go ahead and hit OK, done, done, and go ahead and hit done. I want to go ahead and tab down to done, and hit done. Yes, I want to continue, and then my name is Patrick. My server name is going to be infosecpat sbr. Okay. Patrick, and then my, my password. Perfect. And then tab down the done. I'm not going to install that. Let's just hit done. And then tab down and, and let that go on its merry way to install. We'll give that some time. And now let's go ahead and open up our Windows system. So we do have internet connection, as we can see here. So we can test a few things. Let's go ahead and go to run, CMD. Let's, let's make this a little bigger just to, so you guys can see. Let's do 24, that should be fine. It's a little bigger than I wanted, but it's fine. 
and then we can just do an IP config. So we have the IP of 192.168.99.10. Okay, let's make sure we can get onto the internet on that network, and we can. We can ping Google. Okay, so that should be perfectly fine. Okay, so in the meantime, we're going to let this thing do its thing. And in the, in the beauty of editing, we're going to go ahead and pause or we're going to go ahead and start fast forwarding it. So from here, and then we'll resume once this is done. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. So here we go. So I want to go ahead and cancel, update, and reboot. Hit enter. And it's going to cancel the update, and then it's probably going to be rebooting the server shortly. So we'll give that a few more moments. All right, so now that is going to go ahead and reboot. And once this is rebooted, we'll see if we get to a logon screen. And we'll see where we have to proceed. Now let's go ahead and make sure our Windows box is still up. Okay, this one's up and running. Let's go ahead and bring these side by side. And if we remember correctly, it was 192.168.99.20. So we can do a continuous ping. We'll see if it pulls the same IP. We'll give this a couple of seconds while it reboots. And once this is all good, we will be successfully installed Ubuntu Server 20.04. All right, let's just stop this ping for now. Let's give this a second to load up on the Ubuntu side. Give us a few more minutes. Let's get this a little bigger so we can have some more real estate. Which it doesn't really, okay, perfect. So now we can go ahead and log in. Our username was Patrick and our fancy password. Okay, we'll give this a second to do its thing. And hopefully we get logged in. There we go. So now we are logged in. Okay, let's do CLS or clear. So we can just start from a clean slate. So we could do an IP address. So we can still see it's 192.168.99.20. Let's make sure we can ping it. And now we can ping it. You see that? So now, before we actually go ahead and try to access, let's just go ahead and right click on here. Let's open up, let me, let me stop this on here really quick. And let's go ahead and open up a Internet Explorer. And we can just go ahead and paste that IP address or just type it again, uh, 20, okay? So as we know here, there's no, there's no web server listening on port 80 on that, okay? So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and install that and test it, okay? So let's go ahead and hit, let's do a little clear again, okay? So the first thing is, what I want to do is I want to do a sudo, okay? So I want to do sudo apt install, and then it's going to be Apache 2, okay? And it's going to go ahead and ask me for my fancy, whoops, I did that fat finger that. And then it's going to go ahead and hit yes to continue, okay? Now this is going to go ahead and install Apache. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a few little changes and I'll show you exactly where to go for that once this is done it only should take a few seconds to install this all right so we'll give this a moment it's about 98% it's almost done it's probably done in about there you go bada bing all right so let's do another clear so we can clean clean slate so let's go ahead and cd into var www html Okay, so we do an ls, we have one file in here, the index.html. So if we do sudo nano, nano, 
and then index.html, we're going to have a whole bunch of cool little things. This is the in index.html file that we can modify and we can do some changes. So we're going to just going to make some, like for an example, the background. So we're going to go ahead and try to hit this again over here. So hit enter. And now we have Apache. You see that? Now the Apache server is installed. You can go ahead and read and learn more about it. So now you can see that it's installed. Now if we do netstat dash an and then pipe. Oops. Pipe. Oh my god, I can't see. Pipe and then more. So we can see everything on one, uh, one, uh, one page. We can see if we keep going down, we should see the connection right here to port 80 on that server, okay? And this is our sequence number. All right, cool, so that's that. So now let's go ahead and come over here and we wanna make a quick change really quick to close out the video. So we're gonna do a, in the background color, we're gonna go ahead and just change this to all S, six S. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And then the way that you save this, you could do Control X, and then save the buffer, yes, enter, okay? So now, let's go ahead and refresh this. See the, the background that changed? I don't know if you've seen that, but now it's white, okay? Yeah, of course it's not gonna work now. Let's go ahead and just do that. But if you see the, the background, it changed. All right, so that pretty much sums up how you install Ubuntu server and how you can install a little bonus of Apache 2 and you can go ahead and create your web server and do all your good stuff. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns, leave it in the comments below. Feel free to follow me on my social media. And until next time, have a wonderful day and take care. Thank you.